Sitting on the southern shore of Michigan's Upper Peninsula is the small town of Manistique. The town is surrounded by the trees of Hiawatha National Forest and miles of shoreline between the many lakes and rivers. Although it was originally established as a timber community, the town has seen much of its growth due to the visitors drawn by its amazing sights. For those hoping to visit, here are a few highlights to see along the way. The first stop on our trip has not only some of the best exposure of the unique geology of the East Upper Peninsula, but also some of the clearest waters in Michigan. At Palms Book State Park, you can visit Kitchitakippi, also known as the Big Spring. This is Michigan's largest spring at 200 feet across and 40 feet deep. The spring is constantly recharged from the groundwater released beneath at over 10,000 gallons per minute. The rocks that hold this water formed during the Silurian period when the area was covered in shallow seas and carbonaceous sea life. The sediments left behind eventually formed limestone. Over time, the flow of groundwater hollowed out underground pathways in the stone. As the pathways became larger, they led to the collapse of several cave ceilings in the area, the biggest of which filled with water and became this spring, and now serves as one of the biggest attractions of the area. While you're here, take a tour across the water on a self-guided observation raft where a park ranger will give an overview of the area's history. The other main attraction for geology enthusiasts on this trip is just west of Sichua Point. Here you'll find hogbacks of dolostone from the Engadine group. Like the limestone found at the spring, the dolostone originates from the Silurian period in a shallow marine environment. Some fossils of brachiopods and corals can even be found. While you're here, check out the Sichua Lighthouse, which according to the caretakers, has some supernatural tales surrounding its past. Besides the geologic sites, there are a ton of things to do in Manistique. Hiking around a bit is a great way to familiarize yourself with the area. To experience a little more of the community, take a walk down the Manistique Boardwalk. This 3.7 mile trail sets you along the city shoreline out onto the breakwater for a nice walk that could pair well with a meal in the city. Just south of Indian Lake is the Dufour Creek Trail. This is a well-maintained 1.4 mile loop inside Indian Lake State Park and is a great way to get out in nature without going too far from the city. Other than that, being in the middle of a national forest, it'll be no surprise to learn there are countless of other trails and seasonal roads to explore. They can be great for hiking, but if that's too slow paced for you, then try out some of the nearby ORV trails. There are even rentals near some of the trailheads. Kayak rentals are available at Indian Lake State Park, plus there are several public access areas around the lake for those who bring their own equipment. Indian Lake is also known to have some pretty good fishing. Once the day is over and you're looking for a place to crash, it's good to know there are a ton of places nearby including several campgrounds and resorts around Indian Lake, plus more lodging in the city. For those who want to learn more about the area, it offers a rich experience to dive into. First, you can check out the educational opportunities at one of the many parks that cover different aspects of the area's history. You can also visit the local art gallery to see the often nature-themed creations of local artists at Lake Effect Arts. Or schedule a visit to the Thompson State Fish Hatchery where you can learn about how experts help control the local fish population. This just touches the surface of all the fun things to do in Manistique, but if you're looking for some other ideas, check out the beaches of Indian Lake or Lake Michigan, the Manistique Social District, local golf course, or the farmer's market. 